What is up guys and gals, it's me Thomas Fan of One here and happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh it is a Mar it is March uh seventeenth. To happy thank happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you people. Um uh very happy holiday to you guys as well. Um today we're gonna be taking a look at James Goes Buzz Buzz, or Buzz Buzz in this case. Um we're gonna be taking a look at the UK version, because I hear there's a bit more goofs in the UK version than there is in the American version. So Without further ado, let's get this going. Trevor, the traction engine, was enjoying his work in the Vicarage Orchard. Birds were singing and apples were ripening on the trees. It was a lovely day. Hello, Trevor, said James. You look as bright and cheerful as my red paint. Oh, I am. Okay, we gotta... We, okay, well, first of all, there's some scratches on Trevor's face Good here. Bye, Trevor. However... What's that noise? Asked However, there is something else that needs to be noted as well before we continue. Please laugh, Trevor. They're all in these boxy things called beehives. I'm taking them to the station. The vicar says his bees make good honey and is giving some of them to his friends. Just then, both bouncing the tracks. A little bump right there and then nick in the track. Take care, you two. <clears throat> Don't make the bees angry. There's, okay, there's a little piece right here that's a little, a little kind of annoying. This must be where they hid some of the paneling for Boko's uh, eyes, eye, our, eye robotics, um, and there's a little bit of a gap in between. And if I'm, and I believe his buffer beams are crooked. Uh, I believe this one is an, at a weird angle, and this one's also at a weird angle. Uh, tell me if you can see it. If you can't, go watch the episode. See if you can. Um, they that's might it. sting you. James didn't like being told what to do by a diesel, and he buzzed up. Okay, um, earlier in the episode, these trees right here were moving without anybody near them. Away. They're moving again, see? Goodbye, Trevor, called Boko, and set off to see Duck at the next station. Bill and Ben, the tank engine twins, were busy arranging trucks. But they scampered off when they saw Boko. I remember the first time I met those two, laughed Boko. They nearly made my eyes pop out. His face is on at a weird angle this time. It's on at a weird, weird angle this time. I mean, see, seriously, look. Just so weird angles. And there's not a, as big of a space here as there was. And you can see the cameras, or the reflection of the cameras, in his eyes soon put a stop to their games. Edward is the only one who can keep Bill and Ben in order. Same with Duck. I sometimes call them the bees. A good name, replied Boko. They're terrors when they start buzzing around. James bustled in. What's that, Duck? He snorted. Are you afraid of bees? They're only insects after all. So don't let that buzz box diesel tell you different. His name is Boko, and he didn't. We, I wouldn't care, interrupted James. If hundreds were swapped... Okay, let me make this very clear. There's sticky tack right here underneath the guy's feet. Coming around, I just blow smoke and make them buzz off. Buzz, 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 retorted Duff. The next morning, James arrived at the station to collect his coaches. The passengers were excited and keen to get on board. Okay, a little bit of sticky tack over here. Kind of can see it a bit there. The platform was... Oh, and you can see... Oh, is it sticky tack or black tack? I, I, I can't really tell. And first of all, let me make this very clear. Nobody in their right mind would ever leave open beehives at a station full of people. No one would do that. Ever. In, like, history. At all. At all. And this black stuff is so disgusting. It, it doesn't really give the episode that much of a humanoid look, I suppose. And how tall is this dude? This dude's very tall. Crowded, and the porter was in a hurry. Mind your backs! He shouted. Then there was trouble... Okay, we need to make this very clear. Last little bit there, we both, we all know that the beehive, here, let's, let's go back. The beehive was already at a weird angle and was already teetering off of the, uh, oh, no, 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 stop it. 
subscribe to this person. I challenge you to do that. Um, but no, was already at a weird angle and was already falling off of the cart anyways. Then there was trouble. The beehive fell and broke open. The station cleared like magic. James heard a familiar buzzing. The bees were too cold to be cross, so they buzzed around the fireman hoping he'd mend their hive. Hold on. To be cross, right so here. These are stickers. I can tell you they're stickers because one's pe one's peeling off right here. It's already peeling off. And take note, these were captured before they did the animation for the bees. And not to mention, this is supposed to be coal right here. This is just a plastic top. Buzzed around the fireman hoping he'd mend their hive, but he didn't understand, nor did his driver. So the bees turned to James. His boiler was nice and warm. Buzz off! Buzz off! This James. One bee burnt his foot. Ooh, ah, phew, phew. The bee thought James had burnt him on purpose. Don't mind that back. Don't mind that door screen slamming. So it stung James right back on the nose. Okay. I have to make this very clear. You will notice and take a look. I'm only going to point this out once. But you need to uh, pay attention to the eyes here. Because there is camera shifting uh, camera shifting in this thing in this little scene here so it stung James right back on the nose eee! whistled James and eee! eyeballs and moving in so and out his fireman and driver. they didn't notice till too late that they had left all their coaches behind they tried everything to get rid of the bees. First, they spun on the turntable to no avail. They tried washing them up, but the bees clung harder to James. Okay, if you're going to pour water on them, make sure they actually are hitting the boiler, not just James's face. Warm boiler. Then okay, they let me let me make this really interesting. Let me make this known here. James's Check this out. Boiler. Okay. I can tell you these are these bees are not animated because you can see right here there's a shadow of the bees peeling up right here and it looks honestly just like coffee grounds really and there's these big lumps on top I don't no normal beehive would do that really so just fun fact then they tried smoking them off by going through a long tunnel but still the bees wouldn't go away. It's no good, James said his... There's more of it. First it was just up here. Now there's more of it down here. This is getting really sloppy. We'll just have to go back to the orchard oh. and fetch... Oh, wait, I missed no one. Good, and paint chipping on the wheels. Major paint chipping on the wheels. said his driver, we'll just have to go back to the orchard and fetch another hive. James's reply was drowned by the sound of buzzing. The Where is that smoke was coming from? Anxiously for James. When he arrived, the bees swarmed straight into their new home. Animation cuts. Come on, James, said his driver. Where's where was hold on, let's go back. Their new home. Come Where's his coal? Where'd it go? Come on, James, said his driver. What you need now is a good... And you can see a little bit of the paint where they tried to paint over the nose. It's a bit, uh, a bit sloppily done there. And, again, the sticker. They didn't fix that. This wasn't fixed over here. There's, oh yeah, more sticker peeling right up here. Hose down. Later that evening, James was resting in the shed when the vicar came to see him. Thank you for saving my bees, he said. It's a pity it's not Christmas. Then we could call you James the Red-Nosed Engine. Everyone laughed. Even James. The, the nose is shrunken. It shrunk. Look. It's big in this scene. And it's tiny in this scene. Just very, very badly done. But instead, they decided to call James the Bee's Knees, which means they thought he was more useful than ever. Very, very well done episode. But, you know, 
I have to make this very clear. No, I clicked exit and I clicked exit again. There we go. Okay, so that was essentially Goofs and James Goes Buzz Buzz. There was a ton of goofs that just, some of them were uncalled for, really. I mean, the giant, the big nose and the small nose, I mean, really, come on. Could have been fixed by anyone. Anyone. You could have hired a teenager to go in through the graphics department and fix it. But no. Anyways, that is Goofs and James Goes Buzz Buzz. Now, don't forget to drop a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Don't forget to leave a comment in this video about what other goof videos you want to see me do next. Um, don't forget to... Um, don't forget to stay tuned, and if you haven't checked out any of my other Goof videos, you might want to go check them out. They're quite fun, and they took me a long time to make, so watch them, you know. Um, don't forget to subscribe to iStar552, and don't forget to subscribe to Take Along Productions. They're what helped me get my start into YouTube, so please subscribe to them. I, I challenge you all to do that. Um, anyways, this is Thomas Fanon 1 saying don't forget, to don't forget to do all that stuff I said before, and peace. Goodbye. Oh, and happy St. Patrick's Day.